Welcome to Smart Punk Live. I'm Rob, and I'm here with the lovely Annika. Hello. And we're here today with our newfound friends from Canada, Comeback Kid. What's up? What's up? Hi Welcome. There. All right, everyone, introduce yourself. Say what you do in the band. Uh, I'm Andrew. I sing with Comeback Kid. I'm Kyle, and I play drums. I'm Jeremy, and I play guitar. I'm Casey, and I play guitar. I'm Matt, and I play bass. All right. Come back, kid. Yep. <laughs> um, right summer. off the bat, let's just talk about tour. You guys had some bands drop off. What's going on with all of that? Yeah, we kind of got off to a weird start with this tour. Uh, we're start, supposed to uh, be with H2O for this this week, um, but they dropped off the tour uh, a little while ago. So um, we're just kind of doing our thing, and uh, we have some other bands on tour with us now, and we meet up with Madball and some mm -hmm. other bands next week. Casey so. Jones? We're with Casey Jones now, right for, now for a few shows, like maybe four or five shows. Sweet. How so far into the tour are we now? Um, this is, today would be the fourth show. Fourth. fourth oh, show. okay. So the beginning. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're gonna start. Speaking of tour, going back, you guys have been around 2002, 2003, like, oh man. You, Andrew, started off as the guitar player. Yeah. For Comeback Kid. Yeah. For those who don't know at home. Scott left the band, you stepped up, front man how was the transition from being the guitar player to like bam I'm in the spotlight right now how was it yeah. <laughs> uh, it, it was it was a uh, kind of like crazy um, we had done it once before because Scott couldn't do a tour like half of one tour so um, it was a tour that like we planned and stuff so I kind of was just like okay I'll sing and then we got Casey to fill in on that and then um, a few months later, Scott actually quit, um, and we were in Australia, and he told us, and then we had an American tour like directly after. So, but it ended up working out. Halfway yeah. through that tour, yeah. uh, we worked it out. Actually, I think like Casey's friend drove Casey up to St. Louis, and then drove Scott back the other way, <laughs> oh. and then so the, <laughs> one day in Iowa, Scott played with us, and then the next day in St. Louis, I sang. So it was just kind of a thing like. We didn't really know like what the future would be, but it was just okay. We, we ended make up a sticking with it. We so. had to do it. So well, that's yeah. good. I mean, it ended up working out in the you end. You got so. your priorities right. Yeah. That's, that's and another know. transition that you guys dealt with was the musical change between broadcasting and Symptoms and Cures. I know you guys used a new producer for this album, but there was also vocal changes. What exactly inspired that change? Um, I think just vocals are just and. It, an instrument just like anything else yeah. and just you know you're gonna do different things with your voice and you have all um, uh, with with broadcasting I think I was like kind of trying to like find the balance between like old comeback kid and my voice and trying to right. kind of not make it sound like a different band and stuff but uh, broadcasting or uh, symptoms and cures I guess is just a little bit more natural to my voice so right um not that that one you wasn't so but sexy my yeah. voice <laughs> i'm all husky right now anyways, too. i am too so but yeah. i i, I kind of felt like broadcasting was actually a little bit more of a departure for comeback kid than symptoms and cures i feel like musically symptoms and cures is kind of a throwback to some of our old stuff. 